blogger here I'm gonna be showing you how to create your own mp3 ringtone from any mp3 file for this demonstration I've decided to take the Black Sabbath song Iron Man and clip out a section of the song and turn it into a ringtone to use with my Blackberry device so the program that I use is a piece of freeware called audacity I use the beta version 1.3 and you can get it from uh, SourceForge audacity is a very good free utility that allows you to edit mp3s, WAV files, uh, cut out portions of them, export them as different media and uh, 1.3 version even though it's in beta is a lot more stable and a little easier to use in my opinion. <clears throat> so to get started we'll go ahead and click on file and I'll say import and I'll import an audio track and we'll choose Iron Man and it'll load the mp3 file in its full length. Here we have the Iron Man track loaded and you'll see the uh, entire audio file is attached. I'll click on play just to uh, hear the opening sound of it. And I'll magnify here. Okay, so that's the file, and you'll see how it has the lead in and then the classic riff for the Iron Man with the guitar work uh, before Ozzy's voice comes in. We're going to want to edit out the beginning of it, and you might want to leave it in for your ringtone, but for the ringtone that I want, I'm going to edit out the beginning of it, and I just want where the guitar riff kicks in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start again at the beginning, I'm going to look at the uh, track where it kicks in. and I'm gonna watch the line and I'm gonna watch this is the seconds over here <clears throat> I'm gonna look and see what seconds the guitar kicks in looks like we're gonna kick in right about 28 seconds here yep we are right about the 28 second mark so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark this section here although the beginning I'm going to delete it. Oh, hold on. You got to be stopped first. So I'm going to delete up to the 28 second mark. So I'm going to delete the first 16 seconds. And then uh, I'm going to check where the sound is again. Okay. So right here is where the guitar kicks in. You can see where the spectrum dies down and then and then picks up again. So we'll edit that out. I'm going to zoom in and magnify this area here so I can cut it almost exactly where it starts picking up. And that way we should be able to. Now, when we play it, we should just hear the intro of the guitar riff. Good. Okay, now, right at, I don't want Ozzy's voice as much as I like hearing it Black Sabbath, but for the ringtone, I just want to hear the guitar riff and repeat. So Ozzy's voice kicks in right about 13 seconds, 13.7 seconds. So I'm going to click right here, and I'm going to go to the rest of the song, and I'm going to edit it out. So now we have our very small, uh, approximately 13 second long ringtone, and I'll just play it again real quick. Okay, so there's our 13 second ringtone that we've created, and you'll notice how it abruptly cuts off. Uh, it, has a, it has a pretty decent uh, fade in. It's not too loud, not obnoxious, but it abruptly cuts off. What we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna like 
lower the volume as it uh, taper the volume out as the file ends so that way when you play it and you listen to your ringtone it'll kind of fade in and then it'll fade out instead of cutting off uh, so abruptly so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to uh, use the envelope tool which is this tool up here and I'm going to create two envelope points uh, towards the end of this file oops let me create another one right here let me undo that There we go. We're going to use the, the selector to select right here, create envelope, create a second envelope point. And then we're going to uh, drag this line here. There we go. So what the envelope tool does, it allows you to lower or increase specific sections of the file uh, for volume. So what we do is here, we taper off the volume a little more subtly so that the track will start to get lower in volume instead of abruptly cutting off on your ringtone. So now we'll go ahead and we'll play it one more time and see how it sounds now. See, perfect. And now it sounds, <coughs> sounds much better as it slowly fades the volume towards the end of the ringtone. So now all you have to do is click on File and click on Export, and then you'll export it as an MP3 file. And, you know, put it uh, wherever you want on your desktop or whatever. And I'll save it as Iron Man Ringtone, and I'll save it. And you know, if you use MP3 metadata, it doesn't need it for a ringtone. A phone can't read it anyway, for the most part. So then I'll go ahead and I'll send it to my desktop. And now what you're going to do is, if you have a BlackBerry or a Verizon phone. You set it up to receive your email address, like your uh, Gmail, your Yahoo, your MSN email. You email this MP3 to your to your email address. Pick it up in your BlackBerry, and then you could save the file in your Ringtones folder. And from there, you can select it as your ringtone. Any other service, you could either text message this ringtone as an attachment, or you can email it and pick it up via email. This method only works for phones that accept mp3 ringtones if you create a midi or you need another format you'll have to use another service i may create another tutorial for that but this is how you create mp3 ringtones out of any track any song you want thank you very much bye bye